I wish I could get even closer on this picture because I realize how the Eurocentrists are. They want to deny the obvious. But if you take a close look, this man, who is clearly not a Moor, is depicted as white. Look at the gentleman on the horse. By comparison, compare these two side by side, as well as him. And the ones in the back holding the spears, all of the men wearing the Moorish attire are depicted as black. They certainly are not Caucasian. And if you're not convinced of that, I'm going to show you other pictures. These are Christians. These are the Moors. Notice the complexion of the uh, Catholic Christians. Notice the complexion of the Moors, particularly this gentleman here and his son. The picture here is one of the most uh, revealing. If you take a look at the gentlemen's faces, their features, and their complexion, because your researchers will tell you that just because a Moor is depicted as dark, that doesn't mean that they were Negro. And I would have to agree with that, if not for the fact that they are also very Negroid in their appearance in the majority of the time, particularly when you talk about the um, earlier periods when the Moors first invaded. Historically, it's well known that there was a lightning of the Moors because the Moors did not bring their women from Africa. They basically took concubines, wives, and uh, harms of the native people. Look at these black men here. They clearly are not white. And again, I'm just doing random search here. I started at Google. I ended up on this site, basically showing these old pictures that go back to 1899. Now, some might want to argue whether or not this uh, picture here is of, in fact, a Negro or not. He looks like a Negro to me, but you can decide whatever you want. I really don't care. Now, what does this article say? Surf them, slave, Morocco people, Moors, Europe. A page in reverse from people of all nations, their life story today, and the story of their past. So let's take a look at that. I enlarge it. It says Morocco and the Moors. Clearly, please don't try to claim this man is white. The woe be gone expression is but transitory for an extraordinarily extraordinary vitality and a keen sense of humor carry this bearded Moor through life happy though a pauper. This is after the Moors had been conquered. This is not an Afrocentric as they like to call it. Verbal that is made up recently. We are looking at history. And again, this is taken from a page that people of all nations, their life story today and the story of their past, captured in numerous photographs. This goes back to 1920. Obviously, quite, quite some time after the Moors had been conquered, but they are still being described as Moors. Here's another. Let's take a look at it. White donkeys with their Negro birds in a street of the most European city in Morocco. They are Negroes. They are in Spain, and they are referred to as Moors. Let's take a look at this one. Looks Negro to me, also referred to as a Moor. So the Moors didn't do so well after they uh, were conquered, but they all did not go home. And the term Moor was still used before the Europe centrist tried to whitewash the term because of the glorious past of the Moors. They wanted to make the Moors something other than black. Now, I don't know exactly what the uh, Eurocentric, uh, Eurocentrist will say. Why are you only showing pictures of Moors who are black? Certainly there were Moors who were black, but why are you not showing the white Moors? Well, the truth of the matter is I'm not showing the white Moors because there are none depicted here. Scottish Moors, Scotland Grouse, shooting, uh, shoot, dog, dogs. Scottish Moors, Scotland Grouse. Let me explain something to you. These gentlemen here are not referred to as Moors. The word Moor shows up for this reason. One of the definitions for Moors is a tract of open peaty wasteland often overgrown with heath common in high latitudes and altitudes where drainage is poor. A tract of land preserved for game. So basically, what we have here in these images where the word more shows up and these people are white is basically an image of white people that are hunters. Not white people who are warriors. You see, that's what this is about. They are hunting ducks and geese.